James, are you sure about this, dude? <laughs> think she'll stay? You got a turbo guard? You're good? I think right before the run, we just zip tie this back. Well, once you're, once you're doing like, you know, 700 mile an hour, this thing's gonna be flat and melt to the turbo anyways. Okay. All right, then I won't worry about it. What about this? You think we leave this right here? Yeah, it'll be fine. That'll be fine, dude. Yeah, what could Christmas, go wrong? Christmas trees are the most unflammable tree. All right, guys, Texas Speed sent us a present. For Christmas, we thought it was like a box of long tube heavy, so we didn't open it. <laughs> it's been a couple days. What the Bleacher Reacher Pro, dude? <laughs> no shot, dude. Look no at no way. Oh my Are you goodness, kidding me? they're Is like a t shirt cannon, dude. 100%. <laughs> the Bleacher Reacher Pro. She's fully turned up, Freedom Frank. Give me your best shot. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, that thing was soaring! Oh my god, dude. This might be a oh shit, Frank. Ah! Dude, that thing was so hot. <laughs> that thing was soaring. Woo! All right, thanks, Texas Speed, for the amazing Christmas gift, dude. I love it. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fallen YouTube channel. God, She's a heavy unit, dude. Wow. She really doesn't fit great. She's already cooked. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Welcome to Cleaner's Hot Dog Stand. You got any specials? Dude, listen. Guys, in a very short period of time, we're hoping the end of January, or beginning of February, you'll be able to come right here or anywhere down here. They got the bar down there, concessions across the street. We will be doing, well, I mean, I think right here we'll be selling the Hell Yeah Brother specials. We're talking two hot dogs and a Mountain Dew, but the possibilities are endless. The only issue is we got some infrastructural issues going on here and, uh, we're gonna have to take care of that before we let you guys in here or even start cooking hot dogs back here. So the goal of today's video is to show you guys where we're at with the concessions and then also start tearing some of this out because I don't know, James, what do you think about the old PVC siding? She's gonna need a facelift, that's for sure. She's a little loose in some spots. We're gonna clean this up. So we got Rick from Side by Side Blog in town. We also got my dad. And uh, <laughs> stuck it in for the camera, guys. My dad got a little offended from the Glamis video. Someone said that they thought he looked like a good cook, and he took it as a compliment until someone informed him they were trying to call him, you know, overweight. But you, you are a good cook, maybe that you earned this. <laughs> I did, you earned this 30 years of work at this. <laughs> you guys probably don't know this but I grew up in sports bars because that's what my dad has done his whole life and so my dad's here too to kind of give us some top-notch information on what what we're thinking here so some knowledgeable insight yeah we got to catch you up to speed so dad one of the things we talked about already is removing this whole bar right here to open this up good idea more shaded seating not just to mention that shaded seating but also it's about to fall over so we figured we'll just ditch that yeah, so we're gonna. Right oh, here. oh, oh. <laughs> dude, come cooked, on! You can break her. the cars, not the bar. Cooked her, dude. Well, Just with one pickup. Well, she's Look falling. at that. Yeah. That was floated. <laughs> Dang! I didn't even touch that one. <laughs> dude, uh, After 30 years. Okay. Sitting here. So this has to go. This one's going. This one, however, is much sturdier and is actually, in fact, not rotting at the bottom. So. There is some spots that we'll show you guys that we're gonna be repairing. Essentially, all of these back walls have to be removed because they're completely rotted out at the bottom. It looks disgusting and it also is kind of disgusting. So we're gonna be taking care of that. Structurally, these aren't in bad shape. What we're thinking about is shaving this down, putting some cool stuff and then doing a polyurethane top on this. Fill it in. Fill it in. But you know, a lot of this is gonna to have to be moved so that we can redo these walls. We thought the ceiling was good, but as you come down here, the ceiling is no good. So, custom yeah, custom daylights. What we were, what we're kind of getting to. Is that, 
<laughs> what we're kind of getting to is that we think we might have to put a whole new ceiling in over here and over there. So yeah. then we were going to make that bar longer too. Yeah. Yep. So what the plan is, is to run this bar down and then cut it over to where James is. That way we can serve all the patrons in the bar, but then also we can serve the patrons who walk up over here from the actual stands, which you can see aim right out there to the track. So, uh, what do you think about these, Dad? Canned beer, not draft barrel. You thinking beer. bottled beer? Cans. Cans? Yeah. Cans are easy because then people aren't breaking bottles. The other thing too with that, having a bottle or canned beverages, it's easy to get it from the distributor, you put it in the cooler. Yep. With a kegerator, you got keg service every time you're open. You yep. got to flush the lines, clean the lines. Temperature. Yeah, just either with the cans. Yes. It's, oh, always perfect, true. it's always perfect quality, and then yep. you get inventory at the beginning and the end, yeah. depending on how many we're taking. Not a bad idea. So, you know, we're just we're just kind of figuring it out. And we got to, you know, we're just applying for our beer and wine license now, so it's all a freaking process. So I guess, is that, do we kind of cover everything we need to cover over here? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of demo in, oh, we're trying to take that wall out. Yeah. Yeah, so this wall is actually going to be removed too. We're going to open this up. It's just so dark and scary over here. We want to remove this. We have to keep this structure here, so we're gonna have it blocked off with kind of like a. It's gonna have like a half wall. Half wall, yeah. So it's open airway, and then we're gonna have some sweet Freedom Factory logos here, yeah. like what's on the gate. The good news about this video, guys, is, you know, nothing's set in stone. So we're just kind of talking through ideas. So if there's anything you guys want to add in, you can just drop a comment. All right, so that whole bar area goes to here, and then from here forward, you have the merch room. Oh, this side's locked. Other side, already opened. This is gonna have to get fixed. And you come into here, and you got the merch room. So we gotta fix some of the lighting in here. It does work though. I'm gonna click it on real quick. Partially works, and it has an alarm. So this will be where all of our merchandise will be for sale. You come in here, you get your Freedom Factory T-shirt, like you see here. I think this one's fine. I don't think we have to replace this. And now with the new bleachers having basically no sunlight coming through them, it shouldn't get real hot in here. This stuff's all just peeling off the wall, which sucks. Uh, we're gonna strip these off today. We're going to, we're gonna leave these, like this three window system is gonna stay here. So say you wanna get, you know, kinda into the more in-depth menu, you can go over there, over here, you can grab a drink and some hot dogs and move on with your day. So that'll be Corn simple. dogs, hot dogs, beverages. Maybe some beer, yeah. This wall is going away, so we'll be getting rid of that Budweiser sign. Same thing as over there, we'll probably put a sign here, a half wall, and then you'll be able to see out. We won't have to have extra lights in here, but this roof is in really bad shape too, so you can see we got our custom sunlights coming in. This back wall is completely cooked. You can actually just barely pull it down. Dude, these bleachers though, look at how sturdy these suckers are. Oh, so. they're solid. Those are some really nice bleachers. Yes, sir. And we just had an engineer out here doing a full uh, inspection on these. So this, this wall already ripped down. Yeah, Got a cooler there. There's our dumpster pulling up right now so we can start stripping this stuff out. All right, guys, so Mike Z is gonna take us on a kitchen tour. He's been testing all the gear. What do we got working? What do we got not working? All right, so, so far, fortunately, everything that's in here on the cooking line works. Yeah. The only thing that doesn't work is this has two motors, two fans. Yep. You hear one of them running, the other one's not. Yep. That needs a new motor. So this cooktop's good? Cooktop Cleans good. up nice, too. Yep, and there's another one that was identical uh, on your other concession on the other side that we, we, we okay. stole it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. And uh, your freezers are good. The air conditioner works. I know, I'm, I was actually <laughs> impressed. All of our air conditioners have worked yeah, incredibly. Which is, which is incredible. Uh, an issue with the sink, with the nozzle, but that's a small problem. Um, this warmer here, yep. which is like really old, but it works perfectly. It's got the old yep. heat lamps in old there. Bulbs, yep. Yes, sir. Uh, we are getting rid of all of the bag and box system. So all of this soda equipment is gonna be gone. We're gonna be going to either cans or bottles. Perfect. We are talking about removing this door and making it a window, just like that window over there. Bigger one. Yeah, a okay. big window. So we were gonna use that to feed oh, okay. the Perfect. patios across. Yeah. That'll be like a service window. Great. Um, lighting, all LED, we're gonna put in all LED lighting. Yes, sir. Um, hot water heater. 
heater works. So let's go in here. I'll show you. Does that happens. hot water heater work? Because I was hoping it would. It was, yeah, you know. Hot water heater works. Beautiful. Um, you got a storage area in here. Uh, light doesn't usually want to come on, but uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. So I mean, besides the one hood fan, it seems as though everything's functional. The fryers, yeah, uh, what yeah, the fryers. Functional. Now you see, I took the covers off the fire suppression system. Yep. Um, I sent uh, I sent this company the pictures. He said that it's to code. Okay. So they just need to leak check it. Wow, beautiful. Yep. And uh, and then we may have to replace some of the nozzles up here because we're moving a few things around. So what do you think? Are we gonna end up replacing these or just trying to clean them up? We'll know today. Okay. I have a man coming out today. Oh. Mike C's on it. <laughs> so on it. Mike C's on it. And then uh, over here, um, we have two non-working ice machines. Um, we're going to save the bins and we're going to replace the heads on them. Perfect. Yeah, so you guys will see Mike Z around a lot. He's kind of the man in charge as far as getting the entire concessions up and running and so we got a lot of work to do huh? we do <laughs> it's gonna be fun <laughs> cool thanks mike put it on my bedroom ceiling yeah it's clean yeah dude it's rotted damn man who knew we're carpenters now what's the carpenter version of jack stan jimmy Tool belt, Timmy. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> James might be running his five laps from the no oh, race. So oof. So if he's ready, I'm ready. What I heard you do ready? one screw, and then I think I'm grabbing this table, and thing just comes crashing down. Well, we gotta dismantle it because I don't think we can carry it this big. Previous owners were for sure using their head. Look at this. They were engineers. Two for one. That's what we had going there. Dude, you take down the one sign. There's a cooler hand painted one behind it. Burr. That's sure sick. Does. Yeah, it's sure his bed does. racing. Sure does. Wow. Okay, so now we have to try and save the wood too. Sure. It's just getting more and more complicated to re preserve. to preserve the history. Oh, She's tough. heavy, dude. There's a lot of paint on this. That's nostalgia right there. Dude, that is. Good old shop right there. Shh. I mean, it's not bush, but you know, I get it. <laughs> Look at that. She's opened up. Opened up on the what does it be? West side bar is opened up, dude. So uh let's get the rest of this stuff out. We got a scrap pile, we got a stuff that we're gonna sell pile, and we're just kind of moving stuff out. I think Josh sold that mower deck, so that's good. And then we're making a pile of signs as well. So we're into here next. And then we decided that all the stuff in this other one is just trash. Well, a lot of it's scrap, but like, uh, we're gonna try and sell the hot dog cart because this thing just, just needs some love. I mean, maybe, maybe. We'll take a better look at that when it's outside, but uh, we're gonna have to just start planning to scrap all this stuff. It's got the like, condensers in it, which is worth some money. Scrap that thing, scrap that thing, scrap this thing. Scrap that thing. Hold on to the light thing. It's uh, it's all coming, dude. This is uh, James. What the frick's going on here, dude? The bucket. They put top. a bucket lid to protect the camera because it's not technically a weather approved. Oh. <laughs> they kept the weather off. Wow, dude. The freaking engineering right there. I tell you what. This Man. stuff's holding up. I think this is what we should get for the back of this. Maybe yeah, maybe not this thin. This is really thin, but. This looks pretty cool. If you secure Actually, it, if it's better. secured good, it probably doesn't rattle yeah. much. What do, you think? what do you think of all this, Rick? It's cleaning up pretty good, man. Finally, Rick gets his hands dirty instead of just sitting in the office all the time. Shaping up, dude. <laughs> all right. Else. So we're going to get a broom. Oh, we did you pry this up, James? Uh, that one we needed. That jar for This one pried right off the ground. It actually broke all the screws almost flush with the concrete because this one had a lot of water damage. That one just busted right off. Let me yeah, let me give it a shot. A little, a little stiff. Oh yeah, she is. Uh, oh yeah, all right, we'll just take that one out the right way. This doesn't look horrible underneath. I mean, it just needs to be cleaned up. Someone suck, oh, that's a towel. We'll clean this up and then we can probably, I mean, look, the outlets aren't dirty or anything. Those have to be changed out for uh, GFI outlets and then we'll maybe throw a fascia on it. The fascia's kind of screwed. Wall kind of has a give to it. I, I mean, I wanted to, I thought it would be great if the whole thing was opened, but okay. 
you know, if you wanted to save them, then obviously we, we could think, figure out a way to make it work. I think she's so. toast because once we open this window, it doesn't even close anymore. Like it, that every screw I want to go sit out, spun once, and then just yeah. didn't move. Okay. It just spins. Ready? Okay, that was too easy. All right, she's coming down. <laughs> Hit it this way, you know. Set it. That thing's swinging down and hitting the back of the head. That's it. That's a wrap. Couple walls we, uh, down. Couple walls down. Some Lots more to go. Stuff away. Yeah. So guys, we got some more to go in here, over there. But James and I have a Ooh. high winds. High winds going over here. James and I have a Christmas tree world championship race to be at. So first we're at, annual. First annual. We're heading over to the drag strip. We gotta run. Thanks for watching. Do it for day. We'll freaking see you later. James, are you sure about this, dude? Think she'll stay? You got a turbo guard? You're good. I think right before the run, we just zip tie this back. Well, once you're once you're doing like you know 700 mile an hour, this thing's gonna be flat and melt to the turbo, anyways. Okay. All right, then I won't worry about it. What about this? You think we leave this right here? Yeah, it'll be fine. That'll be fine, dude. Yeah, what could Christmas, go wrong? Christmas trees are the most unflammable tree. Yeah. yeah, and just so everyone knows, there's over 140 feet of Christmas lights on just this little tree. So the only rules were it had to be a six foot tree and had to be lit. It could be real or fake. I went with real because, you know, I love the Christmas spirit and I want to leave some pine needles behind for my other opponents. I'll just show what you've already left here. Oh, yeah. That's just from wrapping the tree. So track's going to be a little, uh, little messy tonight, but Bradenton Motorsports, they're always down to party. I have a feeling, though, these are so light. Speed. Yeah, gonna they're gonna so scatter. Yep, no big deal. Thinking for this guy, I'll put it right here. You gonna tape her? Yeah, just gonna tape it. Then I have a backup tree in case I lose my other tree. 